Hi, today I'm going to show you something uh, a little bit unusual. Uh, I'm going to show you a song by Milton Nascimento, uh, Ponta Giarea, a very simple song, very beautiful, uh, but I'm going to be playing it in an open tuning, which is uh, a little bit unusual, uh, but it's more unusual because I'm using an open G tuning, which is a, a basically a G major chord uh, tuning, but I'm not uh, playing it in the key of G. And I'm not putting a capo on seven either to play it in the key of D. So I'm actually playing it in the key of D in using some voicings from the open G tuning, which gives something really quite exceptional. It is an unusual way to use an open tuning. Normally you would play the, the chords in G, uh, in the key of G major, you know, G major, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, for example, or other voicings of these. Huh? Okay. In this case, I'm going to be playing the starting with the chord of D. And one of the advantages of playing this in uh, open G is you've got a nice fat uh, D note here in the bass. Okay which is going to be helpful because the song is in the key of D. Eh? And I'm going to use uh, uh, my first chord is going to be a little bit of a, an interesting voicing. It's a, like a D add nine. Eh? And this is the hardest chord. Eh? This is the most difficult chord. The other chords are dead easy. So that's another advantage. Eh? But the reason I like this is the voicings of all the chords actually. Uh, are really quite beautiful. So, for example, the chord of G major, you've got it naturally in open G, okay, and then you can add some nice color. This is an add nine, okay, that I've put here. And then you can add melodies, you can play melodies at the same time as you're playing the chord. Um, you can, for example, the B minor chord is, is a beautiful chord as well, naturally, in this uh, tuning. Uh, so you go from Ponto Giarea da, da, da. We've got lots of uh, B minors here that are beautiful. Okay, and then you go to the E minor. The E minor is nice as well. Uh. Okay, it's a little bit awkward to play. Uh. G, we said G, the A. This is quite a simple A to play. So really, when you think about it, you've got beautiful chords with the very simple fingerings. Huh? This is perhaps the most difficult. Huh? to resist the temptation if you play and I play quite a bit in open G you have to resist the temptation of hitting this uh, note which is your normal root note of G huh? so you have to get used to hitting the, the D notes huh? although it is unusual to use the open G tuning in the key of D as, as I've shown you in this song uh, I know of at least one case where it has been done I believe that uh, Romeo and Juliet by Dire Straits uses this. Okay, I think he plays it on uh, f with the capo here actually, which makes it a little bit easier. I'll, I'll start. Ponta And 
that's all. That's all that the song is. It repeats. There's uh, several other verses. There's a little um, section that goes like this. Ah, continues like this okay so let me explain the chords very e very quickly huh? because it is a relatively easy song but the possibilities with this tuning actually are quite uh, large huh? so I'm playing this D uh, uh, nice uh, voicing that allows me then to put the C sharp here so I'm going from D major or D add 9 putting a C sharp on the bass okay because I'm moving, uh, you could say this is like an F um, sharp minor chord, but not quite actually, because I'm moving to the B minor chord, uh, which is here, and you can play it in all sorts of different ways in this tuning. Okay, so it's a, this is a B minor uh, 7 of, of sorts, uh, with some color to it. But the same chord becomes an E minor by adding the bass here. This is the E bass. Remember, this string is a tuned down to D. Okay. Uh, so we start with, I'll start again. <laughs> This is a G chord with an A here. Okay, it's uh, so it's a G at nine, da, 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 da. and this is an A chord. Now remember, this string is tuned down to G, so this makes this an A, and it's a sort of A uh, sus seven. Uh, okay, it's also got uh, what? What has it got other than the the sus seven? It's got uh, yeah, I think it's mainly an A sus seven, huh? uh, ta -ta, and then we go back here, and it is as simple as that. The middle section, which uh, this is like an E chord with a D on the bass, and here you can use either of the D strings that you. Uh, this is a D chord. You can hear it straight D. Uh, This is a G minor chord, huh? and then we go back. Now the nice thing what, that you can do with this, if you want to vary a little bit, is you, you can play this. So you can play the melody in, to, to some extent. chord here from this when you put the C sharp you can actually switch the fingers around and you get a quite a nice voicing here transition huh? so I'll, I'll demonstrate
you can decide in the end which one of the versions you prefer. Okay, so I'm going to tune up to uh, standard tuning and at the same time you will see how the guitar is tuned in open G. So back to standard tuning. This is this was a D. I'm going up to E. Nothing changes except then I go to this string which is a G and it's going to up to A. I'm going back to E here. I'll let you choose which one of the two versions uh, you prefer. Good luck.